What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today I'm gonna to give you five new quarterback drills you guys can do to improve your game. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so this next drill is going to be a drill that you can do when you're warming up to work your mechanics, okay? One of the most important parts of the quarterback position is mechanics and I know you guys know that. And this is just a sequence throw that you can do. You can set up a target, you could have a net, you could have somebody catching for you and we're just gonna make this throw, okay? So you guys have probably all heard about the L, opposite L, get to the 90, get to 90 is a common phrase that people use. But when we lift the ball, that's not, that, I don't believe that's proper mechanics. There are many ways to throw a football, but when we lift this ball, and you guys know quarterbacks are rotational athletes, when I rotate through, this comes back here. Okay, then my arm, I have this like slingshot motion, right? We need to get some kind of, they call it the stroke. They call it opposite equal. You wanna be opposite, but your arms, they wanna be equal, right? If that makes sense. Keep this thing right here, 90 degrees. I like to keep it right here at 90 degrees. I know some guys that'll go here, just not down here and not lifting the ball straight up. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working this sequence here. So you're gonna go one and you're gonna pause. Now what we're gonna pause in is this nice good base. We're gonna be here, nice and wide, feet just outside my shoulders. I'm pushing off this back leg. I'm getting my hips rotated to the target so I can have this hip just shooting through. And I'm gonna hold my arm into this position, opposite equal or you can hold it whichever position is most comfortable. You could get up right here, um, but anything, not 90, not down here, somewhere in this range. Because when I rotate through, my arm will just support my hip drive and my core rotation. So it's gonna be two commands. So you're gonna have somebody stand out in front of you. It's gonna be one, and then two, we're gonna rotate through the throw and just finish like a normal throw. I call this the sequence throw, okay? And we wanna make sure that when we go like this, our front side isn't completely open because then we don't have any torque from our backside. We want to keep this front side almost closed, like we're looking down a barrel of a shotgun. Get my hips open to the target, and then when I say two, we just finish through this throw, come nice and easy over the top, keeping our nice good base. There should be no stress on this arm. We make this entire throw with our body, nice easy just rotate through all right guys so this next drill is a drill that you can do right after you warm up right after we're done working up right after we're done working the sequence we feel good our legs are nice and warmed up this drill is going to be to keep our good base okay you probably heard me talk about this before keeping a nice good base what that means is feet just outside my shoulders right nice 60 40 okay what i see a lot of guys do a lot of young quarterbacks make this mistake they're very narrow right and that means when they push off his back leg because you guys all know that we're pushing off his back leg almost like a pitcher we're gonna have this long stride okay i don't want that right i want to be nice and i want to widen my base i want my feet just outside my shoulders so when i do decide to push off of this back leg this front leg's out here just to catch me what that does is that creates this torque so we're going to work on keeping that but now the second part of this thing another mistake i see is a lot of quarterbacks are all the way here all the way on this back leg and what that is, is i got no weight on this front leg and when it's time to make a throw and I need some balance, I'm gonna have to hitch up to get to my nice balanced base. I wanna eliminate wasted motion. This is also working getting the ball out of your hands fast. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have somebody standing up maybe about 10, 15 yards away. All they're gonna do is when they clap or when they call for the ball, you're gonna get this ball out of your hands. So we're gonna be here. Nice 60, 40 base, all we're doing is we're taking a nice under control shuffle back. I want my feet to be quick. Control, 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 control. When they flash their hands for the ball, right leg, I wanna get this ball out. I don't ever wanna be in this position. They flash their hands and I'm all the way back here and then I gotta come up and over this top or I'm all the way back here, then I gotta reset and hitch. That's wasted motion. I wanna get rid of the wasted motion. So I wanna be able to go back here. Nice, good base. They flash their hands and just finish through on this throw. Nice and easy, driving off this back leg, rotating through. All right, guys, so this next drill is a variation of the drill we were just working, but it's working on getting rid of this ball, getting it out of our hands fast. As you know, a quick release is so essential for all quarterbacks, especially myself. I was not a very tall quarterback, so I had to have a very quick release. I had to get this ball out of my hand fast in the pocket, much like you see with Kyler Murray, okay? He has a lightning quick release, but he's able to get so much torque behind this ball. That's why the ball pops off of his hands. So a drill like this is great for somebody who needs to eliminate wasted motion, okay? So you guys have seen it all the time in the pocket. They're throwing, like, let's say we're throwing a quick slant, right, to the right you want to have your receiver line up about 10 yards to the right if you're in the middle of the field you want him about on the inside or on the hash on the right hash you if you're in the middle of the field you want him on about the right hash and then obviously it could vary we're on a field right now with no lines so obviously it will vary but you want to be him somewhere in between that right hash somewhere around that area about 10 yards away okay that's where you want him to be but you guys have seen it all the time you got a quick slant call and a quarterback will be here and they'll jump to make this throw okay i don't want to jump to make this throw 
I wanna keep my cleats in the ground, okay? That's the most important thing. I don't wanna be here and take all these 20 steps to get over there either, okay? That's wasted motion. We don't have time for that, you guys. We gotta get this ball out of our hand fast. So what they call this is they call this almost a hook and replace, okay? So it's gonna be, if you're a right-handed quarterback, it's gonna be with your left leg. If you're a left-handed quarterback, obviously it's the opposite. But when we catch this ball, we're gonna hook with the left, that gets my hips in line and then replace with the right where my left was, okay? And then I could just drive and get this ball out, all right? So it's just two steps. You wanna to try to work this in maybe two to three steps. So it's a variation of the drill we were just working. You're gonna be here. You guys gonna be lined up about 10 yards to the right side of you. So you're gonna take this nice light shuffle like we were working back in the last row, but now we're working to the side. We're working opposite. We're working away from the receiver. So we're gonna be here. And when he flashes their hands or claps, we're gonna go one, two, and work on right when this right leg gets the, hits the ground, let's get this ball out, okay? Those are like two anchor steps. The hook and replace, I think of it like you're dropping an anchor out of the ship. It's gotta be aggressive. It's gotta be all the violence you can muster up in two steps to make sure that I get to my base, a nice 60-40 balance, I could drive, and I could just get this ball out, okay? You wanna probably work eight reps to the right. And then obviously, I know we're just working this throw to the right, but the main thing is just getting our hips slipped around, okay? You can't really work this to the left because my hips are already there. I mean, you essentially could where you're going here and you just go right leg right now, but I really wanna work on flipping those hips, getting it in line with the target. So when we're coming here, set go, nice, easy. Flash his hands left, right. Get the ball out right now and drive this thing out right when he's on the right hash, somewhere in that area. You wanna work about eight reps of that. All right, guys, so I like to call this drill the progression drill. Now, what this is working is this working, you're going through progressions, making these fast reads, sitting in the pocket, but also having good footwork and having a good base in this pocket. So you're gonna set up four cones and you wanna go four sets each way. So we're gonna start here. Now, the most important thing about this is they call it tying your feet to your eyes. So wherever my eyes go when I'm standing in the pocket, that's where my feet follow, okay? So like, let's say we're working a curl flat, right? My eyes go to this curl, it's not there. I'm not just gonna look to the flat and throw. I'm gonna flip my feet and make this throw, okay? So that's what I wanna be working on this drill, guys. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna start on this side. My feet are pointed this way, so my eyes are looking this way as well. So I'm gonna come through here, shuffling, quick flip. When I make this quick flip, I wanna make sure I have my good base, okay? I'm nice 60-40 weight distribution. I got some weight on my back leg, but some weight on my front leg. Then when I come through here, I flip, then I flip again, and now I'm gonna have a target straight out in front of me. And when I make that last flip, I wanna get this ball out of my hands. We're also working getting this ball out fast. When, right when we hit this right leg, we're shooting this ball out, we're releasing this thing, not taking any wasted motion. I see a lot of guys go through this, and they'll come out this last cone, and they'll be here, and they'll hit you up. I don't wanna do that. I wanna get rid of the wasted motion in the pocket. So I wanna be able to just come out right now, quick flip, the ball's out right now. You can execute this four times on each side. So I'm gonna show you how it goes full speed. We're gonna be here, tying our feet to our eyes. It's the most important thing when we go through progression. So we're gonna be working here, foot, 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 ball, and just finish through this throw, keeping a nice good base the entire time. Nice wide base feet are just outside of our shoulders. All right guys, so this next drill I'm gonna be giving you is gonna be a great drill for just pretty much everything quarterback, okay? You need to keep a wide base in this pocket, okay? I see the common mistake that a lot of guys make is they'll be in this pocket and when they hitch up, when they're either climbing the pocket or they're just creating space, when they take a normal hitch, right? Climb the pocket, normal hitch, their base gets really close together, okay? Now, those windows to throw, especially when you get to that next level, especially when you keep progressing in your game, those windows to throw get tighter, okay? And it's a lot quicker to make this throw. And if I'm here, right, and I push it off this back leg, I have this long stride. And while I'm doing this long stride, my motion gets real long, and then this window closes, okay? So what this is working is working on keeping this nice wide base the entire time you're in the pocket. I want my base to be almost just like a robot when I'm working through this thing, okay? I wanna be popping my feet. I don't wanna be going super fast to where I'm here and I don't want to be cheating around these hurdles, okay? So I call this maybe a hurdle zigzag, all right? So we're going to be coming here. We're going to start on this side of the hurdle. Keep Make sure we're in this good base, nice 60-40 feet just outside our shoulders when we're working through. And we're going to zigzag through these cones, but we're also working flipping our hips. You want somebody out maybe about maybe 10, 15 yards away from you so you, when you come to the end, you can just deliver them a ball, okay? So this is something to work your footwork and your base. So we're going to start here. Keep a nice wide base. All we're doing here, flip. Flip. Here, 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 
and get this ball out, okay? Now, at the end of this thing, when I flip, I don't want a little bit of an extra wasted motion, maybe just a quick reset because we're coming off of this thing here to get my hip, knee, or knee, hip, shoulder in line with this target so I could finish through, but I don't want to take this great big hitch. I just want to be working through these hurdles, nice robotic, popping these feet, keeping my nice wide base, and when I get to the side of these hurdles, I don't want to cheat it. Like, I don't want to be here and go like this and be real fast and out of control. You watch any NFL guy. I love talking about Drew Brees because I personally think he's the best in the pocket. When he climbs up in this pocket, his feet are sudden, but they're not out of control. I'll see a lot of guys that try to go too fast and their base gets narrow. That's why they're not accurate in the pocket. But you see a guy like Drew Brees, he's sudden and he's quick. He's here, but he's under control. You want to be sudden and under control. Like I said him before, I want to work about four sides on this side and then four, go four sides going the other way. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If this video brought you any value, please leave in the comments any questions you guys might have. And I really appreciate it if you guys like this video and subscribe to this channel. That would really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.